football supporters. Well, the hair's red, but I dyed it. And uh, that was basically as a joke to begin with against Mark Jackson, you know, the guy that does the Energizer battery ads. He's a fun guy and uh, something that uh, I thought I could model myself alongside with. And uh, I just approach my football the same. I go out there and, uh, and, and play the game and, and try and have some fun. And if you're not enjoying it, then why do it? So uh, basically, that is why I dye my hair and, and play the way I do, is because that's my way of saying, let's have some fun. So Wilson for his second. Directly in front. He's got it. He's got it. And the Eagles sense they've got the flag. 1992 Grand Final, the ultimate in any footballer's life, winning a premiership, and that is something that I always will remember and cherish it as. Well, the lasting memory that I have was, uh, was jogging around the boundary line, um, waiting to get back onto the ground before the final siren went, and then getting back onto the ground for the last minute and a half, and then embracing in Peter Sumic and Glenn Jakovic, and then uh, actually Stepping up on the dais to receive my medal was uh, one of the proudest moments that I've ever had in football. Uh, he loves it. Uh, Mick Malthouse, the man and the coach. Uh, Mick, a great man. He doesn't live, uh, well, far away from me over here in Perth. Um, and drops by on his way through to get the paper and stuff. So, and I see a lot of his kids, so, and they're always around. So, great man and a great coach. Very thorough, very professional. They came from behind today. And they've won the pennant. The Eagles in 93, I think we had a, we've had a, a bit of a, a slower start, but not unsimilar to 92, and uh, just building up to a very, very, very hard and thorough finals campaign. Football supported, very parochial, um, very one-eyed in most cases, especially Victorians. I think they've been brought up with football. They've had it a lot more put in front of them a lot more than, uh, than Western Australians. And uh, although the South Australian uh, influence has been very parochial as well, but uh, opposition supporters, hey, why barrack for the Eagles when you barrack for someone else? And uh, I, I say the same as an Eagles supporter. I mean, I, if I was an Eagles supporter, then I'd be upset as well. So uh, people are, are quite, quite within their right to get upset and they're quite within their right to say what they want to say. Let's have a look. With a head full of oh, hair. Carl Langdon, a bit of uh, head pulling and, uh, well, all sorts of things going on in that pack. Future after footy, who knows, everyone, but just watch out.